This is Janet from Saints John and Paul Children's Liturgy of the Word at Home. Today is the fourth Sunday of Ordinary Time. So I was at the store the other day and at the checkout line and I noticed there was a little commotion on the line next to me. The guy started, had, had some angry words and then soon he was shouting and he was shouting pretty loud. And I was kind of scared, but there was a cart in front of me and a cart behind me, so I couldn't really move. Well, you know what happens when sometimes people start shouting is maybe they get really upset and then they, boom, start punching. But the store manager came along and he got the guy all settled down and took him away. And so we went ahead with our shopping. So shouting can be scary. It can be really scary. And sometimes, though, shouting can be good. If you shout out to your teammate to do a good job out there on the soccer field or the football field, or if you're at a school assembly and you're all having a shout contest to see who can shout the loudest, or what I like is when you go to the barnstormers and they have the shout-o-meter and you can just shout as loud as you want. In today's gospel story, we hear Jesus shout. So I want you to listen and listen to see if this is a good shout or a scary shout. All right, we'll listen, but let's pray. We thank you, God, that we can come together and we can listen to your word and we can learn. Help us to always love others. Amen. This reading is from the Gospel of Mark. Lord, keep your words on my mind, on my lips, and in my heart. Jesus and his disciples came to the town of Capernaum, and on the next Sabbath, Jesus went to the synagogue and began to teach. The people who heard him were amazed at the way he taught, for he wasn't like the teachers of the law. Instead, he taught with authority. Just then a man with an evil spirit came into the synagogue and screamed, What do you want with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Are you here to destroy us? I know who you are. You are God's holy messenger. Well, Jesus ordered the spirit, Be quiet. Come out of that man. The evil spirit shook the man hard. He gave a loud scream and came out of him. The people were also amazed that they started saying to one another, What is this? Is it some kind of new teaching? This man has authority to give orders to evil spirits, and they obey him. And so the news about Jesus spread quickly everywhere in the province of Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So let's see what happened here. Jesus is in the temple. He's in the synagogue teaching. And a man with an evil spirit, that's what they called it, an evil spirit, came in and disrupted him and started shouting and screaming and challenging Jesus. Well, Jesus knew just what was going on, and he knew just what to do. And he shouted at that evil spirit to leave that man. And it did. It obeyed Jesus. That spirit did. We don't always understand exactly what that means or exactly how it works, but we believe it happened. And so when that man now had the evil spirit out of him, he was able to be part of the community now and be part of the synagogue teaching. But the people were kind of, you know, kind of scratching their heads saying, well, what just happened here? Is this a new way to teach? And who is this Jesus? He spoke with authority. Well, what does authority mean? When we think about authority, we think about people who have earned our respect and they know what they're talking about and so we listen to them and, and usually try to do what they tell us to do. So probably at the head of our list would be parents and then would be teachers and coaches and our ministers and such and and, and our people that, uh, that uh, control our government. You know, we have to kind of sort through all that and see who teaches with authority. So this week I want you to think about Jesus, who spoke with authority. What did he say? What was he telling us to do? He spoke with authority the whole time that he was on his mission, on his ministry. He taught us how to help people heal. He taught us how to help people forgive. And he taught with authority. So this week, I want you to go around and as the week goes on, kind of listen to those people of authority and you should probably do what they say. So if your parents say, mm -mm, two cookies is enough, you don't need four, well, then you don't complain and you just say, okay. And then if your teacher says, mm -mm, we're doing 15 spelling words instead of 10, well, you don't complain, you do the 15 spelling words. 
And so that's what we do. And then we listen to Jesus, who spoke with authority. And what did he say? He told us to love one another. And that's something we can do. It's a challenge. It's not always easy. Do and follow Jesus. Have a great week.